Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. Um, if the commentary is a bit off in this episode then I do apologize but this is the first recording I'm making since uh, my dog got run over so I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things really. I haven't been able to pick up the game, uh, this game, or any other game really, properly, for the last week or so. So, yeah, just trying to get back into playing something to keep my mind occupied. But anyway, where I uh, left off was, I, uh, in between the last episode and this one, I did some uh, renovations did some stuff for the Minutemen, talked to a few settlements and whatnot, and uh, now I have to talk to Preston here, because he has expressed interest in taking back the castle, which is the Minutemen headquarters. Ahem. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Sure. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Did I see that right? Did dog meat go in the doghouse? I saw that in the background. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool little thing, I like that. Okay. So. Um, my head's all over the place. Uh, okay. I'm not going to do taking independence just yet. I'm going to do that one, I think, and go and meet the Brotherhood. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on frequency 9-5. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. So that's just on repeat. Um, right. Yeah, so it's uh, been a week to the day since my dog Benji got run over. So yeah, just I haven't been feeling too good today. Just been trying to keep my mind occupied and I'll think about it. It's about 3 a.m. Monday morning, just haven't been able to sleep. Not that I do anyway, usually in the night, but the nights are getting a bit harder to, uh, well, just go through. Because that's when I usually hang out with my dog. <laughs> uh, So yeah. Let's hope they don't mistake us for ghouls. Must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the paladin is down. Waiting for you ins inside. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, so yeah, I'm. Uh, I thought I'd uh, spend this episode just sort of getting used to the basically getting so ingratiated in the Brotherhood of Steel uh, group since the Predwin has uh, arrived. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. Uh yeah. Cavalry's arrived. 
and it looks like they sent in the big guns. Why did the Brotherhood send it here? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon? The man's a lunatic. Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Okay. And here I am without my power armor. Don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. What happened to Nick? Hey. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So this is just a random little sequence where I get to shoot random things on the ground that spawn. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. Who's shooting at me and what? I haven't shot anyone yet. To the, the Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. All right, I'll be coming back here at some point. There's a pretty interesting, like, quest line back there with the ship.
So let's go go board the giant airship. It is a wonder this thing isn't shot at a lot more. Considering it is just floating here, it's a pretty easy target. A lot of people out here can use a hand. Hey Nick, you just appeared randomly. That's that's great. How do I get out of this? Ah. Now, if this is the person I'm thinking of, it's actually the guy who voices Tuvok in, uh... To come aboard, sir. Permission granted. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the privy and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Captain. It is. I swear that's the guy so, who plays Tuvok in Star Trek Voyager. You don't look much like a soldier to me. And what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly. And I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else? Or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? Come on. I deserve it. Look. All I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data that Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? I do love how there's a lot of stuff in that bit of dialogue where you'd ask questions about. Like, you know, would have been Capital Wasteland, or so on. What What's the Citadel? But nope. He's just like, what's power armor? And what's my orders? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address. After which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. There's a lot of that stuff I didn't really need to go through, but meh. You lost Maxon's address is making the Pridwin. Yeah. I have no idea, like I said, it's probably, I may have mentioned this earlier in the walkthrough, but this is probably not going to be out um, until sometime 2020. Because I've already got a walkthrough, so this will just be like a side thing. I'll do. And it's all experience with doing commentary as well. So, at the moment, I'm actually making reviews as well. I am uh, made one, I got Control. A review for Control is up on my channel, 
and I'm currently making a review for Jedi Knight Jedi Outcast, which released like two two weeks ago on PS4. So yeah. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! I'm not a fan of some of these outfits. I mean, that just looks like he's wearing long johns. Uh. Yeah, now, this is weird. I mean, you can tell they kind of made the glass in this room very, like, hard to see through. And that's only because it's a very sort of low-quality map out there. Like, the water's, like, moving weirdly. I don't know what that is, some kind of, like, reflection or whatever. And then the rest of it's just a very low-resolution kind of map. Probably into a. Oh, that's probably that's probably to adjust for like how far you can see. I would have thought. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet, to start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Only a knight? Why not a paladin like Dance? The Brotherhood maintains a strict hierarchy, organized by rank. Paladin is several ranks above Knight, and it took Dance many years to achieve that goal. With your continued loyalty to the Brotherhood, I'm certain you can attain the same. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Okay. So, I'll go see Dance. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't quite decided what faction I'm going to side with. But I'm going to get sort of ingratiated with the Brotherhood in this episode, maybe the next one. Depends how far I get in this episode. Then I'm going to go and find the railroad after this. And sort of get in their good books, and then work my way up from there. Paladin Dance. Us, there you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, 
and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxim sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxim took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us. And I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Yeah, you just, like, chill here. I'll go and... find some... I oh, see, I just completed the quest, so... I don't know. We should stock up on supplies Do I still need to go see people? Tour of duty. Meet Dr. Ingram. Proctor Teagan, Proctor Quinlan, and Knight Captain Cade. Glad right. you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Wouldn't vault Tech screening process have caught this already? vault Tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? No. Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. 
Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? Um. No, there you go. no problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Uh huh. Okay, so that's one down. I'm just gonna lie to most of these guys. Ah, there's a cute little cat there. Tongs. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. That's why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Should I come back when you're less busy? Our recent arrival in the Commonwealth has left me with an immense amount of data to compile. None of that's your fault, really. You're obviously here for a reason. What was it again? Uh, hey. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filmed. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay, two down. He seems like a bit of a dick. Uh, where am I going? I got two left, haven't I? This way. Call me old fashioned, but there's nothing better than. There! Try it now. Nothing. That's so, there's a new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram. And this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Nope. 
Which one? Would it help if I promised not to tell anyone else? I'm not really looking for nah. sympathy. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. It's fine. I'll just think of some reason as to why she may or may not have lost her legs. Congratulations on the promotion. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? Okay, last one. Can you believe since I'm replacing Step humans forward, with knight. exact duplicates? Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I will bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Proctor. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this black... Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what's the, uh... What is the extra work he mentioned? Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage. The powers that be have me locked in here. If you need to stock... Yeah. That's good to know. When I tell most the good news is by... Yeah, I'm mostly... In, of course. Uh-huh. I could use some extra caps. You need them. And I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one... Uh-huh. After you're done with the meet and greet. Uh-huh. In the meantime... Ah, so I have to come back later. Alright, I'm gonna jump in my power armor. And let's go and see Maxon. And then call it a day. I've served on this vessel for years. It's the only home I know. What's our next move? Uh-huh. You're an all inspiration right. to us all, Knight. Do us proud. Ah, this isn't bad power armor. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have to get rid of the uh, Brotherhood of Steel markings, though. I think it's got like a Brotherhood of Steel paint job, obviously, because it's Brotherhood of Steel power armor. So I'll just do like a vault tech thing or vault tech sort of uh, paint job on it. Okay. Where's Maxon? I was told to go and talk to the guy. But he's also nowhere to be found.
What the? All right. Yeah. Ah, that didn't go too badly. Considering I just dived off the Predwin. Okay, so... Where am I going? Which is a decent enough question. Uh-huh. Where... Is this door that I apparently have to travel through? Is it up on the roof, maybe? Oh, now it. We see, oh, that's not. Okay, okay, yeah, fair enough. That's, yeah, he's right at the end here. Alright, fair enough. You familiarized yourself with the Crippling's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than cells. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Super mutants with nuclear weapons? I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night knowing that. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. So, yeah. I mean, these guys are quite sort of borderline fascist, I guess. Uh, so. It doesn't quite feel right helping them, but then again, super mutants with nuclear bombs aren't exactly great either. So, lesser of two evils, I think. So yeah, um, I'm gonna call it, call this video to an end, and in the, I'm not sure what I jump on. Um, I know I have to jump on a vertebrate. I'm just not sure which one. Oh anyway, yeah. Now for now though, I'm pretty much calling this video to uh, this episode to an end. So in this one, I've pretty much just got ingratiated with the Brotherhood. In the next one, I'm going to be doing the Fort Strong quest, and then in the episodes after that, I'm going to be getting more in depth with the uh, the railroad, and then at some point carry on with the main quest. Um, I plan to get like involved with all the main groups, bef you know, before I carry get too far into the main story. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all enjoying. Uh, this is my first recording after. God, the music picked up so bad. I like, picked up so much I crap myself. Um, so yeah, this is like my first recording after losing. Benji. So yeah. Um I hope it hope you've all enjoyed. It's been uh yeah, 
experience for me trying to get back into recording after a week of not doing it just after a week of not being able to pick up a game and just get you know focus on it like without you know bawling my eyes out and whatnot so that's uh, that's progress I guess um, so yeah that's pretty much it sorry I just got lost there uh, yes yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, if you could leave a like hit that comment section below and maybe hit that subscribe button if you're feeling up to it it would be very much appreciated uh, for now though that's pretty much it so until next time you take care